All right, um, that is a video of, of the situation in Imo State. You could have heard the gunshot. There were gunshots, and people were running for safety at that point in time. And that makes us ask a lot of questions. We still have Dr. Dayo Kayode, who is an analyst, security analyst in our midst. Now, Dr. Dayo, is our security helpless? And do we even need international community to come to our rescue at this point in time? If you look at it, are we really helpless? Because when you see our security officials go out on international uh, 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 assignments, you see them coming back with medals. How come they cannot work here in Nigeria? So it's a big question that we also need to unravel. To that extent, do we now say that are there some people within that are sponsoring and protecting these people? That is a way to also look at it. Because if somebody, if somebody could be going outside the shores of Nigeria and then be receiving accolades, medals, and all that, and when you come back here, you can't do anything, then that means uh, is the hand, the hand of the uh, ISO and Abi, how do they call it? How do they put it? Mm, so it comes for a big concern. Listen to this. We have Niger concert in this country that we give a lot of budgetary allocation every year. What has happened to that Niger concert? Because Niger concert is supposed to use its satellites to be combing the territorial integrity of Nigeria 24-7. So how come they cannot look at all these footages and then get all these people apprehended? These are issues. That is on one side. On the other side, IPOP. If IPOP is now saying, these are our demands, these are our requests, why can't government sit them down and then address those requirements, those demands? They are part of Nigeria. They have their rights. They have their rights to ask, to ask for whatever they want within the country. All right, Dr. So all, government, all the government needs to do is to call them to a round table and discuss so that we will stop killing ourselves. All right, Dr. Kadis, speaking about and, killing, uh, just yesterday, we have to let you, before you let you go, we got reports that an APC chieftain was killed in Oweri yesterday. Also, videos appeared on social media of a man killed in broad daylight in Enugu State. The list goes on and on. So what should we do? at this point now, because it seems that the situation has indeed gotten out of hand. Yes, that is even the area I was coming to. Now, there is insecurity in Nigeria. Again, there are drums of war being beaten in Nigeria, because those are two different things. All we need to do is who and who are behind these things. There are some people out there that wants to be stealing the resources of our country. And what they know they can do is to cause unrest for them to be able to do that. That's an aspect. Another aspect, we also have to look at the area of the politicians that want to seize power by all means. And there is nothing all these politicians cannot do. They can create and uncreate a lot of things. And for adventure, that is why we have not been able to arrest all these people that are embarking on killing Nigerians. So these two issues, we Nigerians need to look at those two issues seriously, with serious concern, for us to be able to arrest all these things that are happening to us in the country. Okay. With okay. war, with unrest, with kidnapping, with killings. There is no way we'll be able to think right. Okay. I want to advise Nigerians, let us think deeply and look at where are all these things coming from so that we can resolve this issue once all right. and for all.